Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Ask Me Anything Monday here from the Bahamas. Good to see everybody. Welcome, welcome. We got a great day. Let's load up the questions. Where's Team Meltzer? We're a day, minute early. Good morning, Colleen. How about that? I'm going to go to the restroom, babe. All right. Julie's going to the restroom. Well, hi, Thank you. For- <laughs> <laughs> All right. There. Where are you at? I am in the Bahamas uh, here at the Sugar Beach and uh, a few days before the $100 million mastermind down here. It's been quite a journey to get here. There's some questions coming in. Where is Team Dave Meltzer? Here we go. If you could ask yourself a question, what would it be? For me, why do you still worry? That would be the question. Why is it, with everything that you know, do you still worry? Uh, it, it's beyond me why I cannot overcome feelings with logic. Right? Why is that the case? Can't overcome feelings with logic. Um, and just uh it's perplexing to me um anyway i love to be fishing me too soon but i'm going to do my ask me anything so (laughs) let's keep them coming yeah they're loading in here this is awesome thank you everybody what are you most looking forward to on your trip uh spending time with my friends and my wife uh i'm a people person not a place person probably because i've been blessed to travel the whole world and uh so I'm more people person and really looking forward to learning about different people and, and what I see. Cynthia Kersey here from the Incredible Unstoppable Foundation and we're having an unstoppable celebration. If you have not signed up to join us, please do. Cynthia, you're here. Go ahead and comment so I can have you join. She's here. Oh, there she is. I'm here, she says. And uh, oh, she needs to upgrade her Instagram, Jake. It's not going to let me join her. So. I thought Colleen had talked to her. We got the team working on it. I see her here. She's going to have to upgrade her her, um, Instagram, though, because it's not going to let me join her. Uh, Cynthia, while I take some questions, have uh, Colleen call. And hi, Christina. Thank you for joining me early this morning as well. Here we go. Best lessons learned yesterday with all the travel issues. Uh, I was proud of myself, actually. Uh, So the lesson is progress, not perfection, that I... um, was capable of just enjoying myself when everything was going not as planned and God was laughing at me as they turned around midair and we had just a great day and a great night and uh, just had the right perspective and made the best of it. So uh, progress is what I've learned is that, um, you know, may not be perfect, but I'm certainly learning. I would have been a whole different person even a year ago let it go known five years ago with all that stuff happening um so just uh you know there's opportunity and everything and taking advantage of that let's get some more questions here it's ask me anything monday we also have a three o'clock uh clubhouse so it's very good we are here celebrating unstoppable i'm the chairman of the foundation with cynthia curry see the founder and we're doing an incredible celebration with uh, kevin harrington uh with the tenors just all type of cool people come celebrate with us in the unstoppable <clears throat> foundation uh any lessons you learned yesterday oh these just have the same as uh justin that's cool keep the questions coming everyone who is your inspirational person my new one is the sad guru i love the sad guru uh i study the course of miracles but uh, the sad guru is my new inspirational person that I'm studying. Joe Osteen is inspirational to me. Um, even though I believe in all unifying religions. Advice for a university student to start a part-time source of income. Uh, get a mentor that's in an area that you want to work in and then figure out how uh, you can have a part-time source of income uh, by finding a mentor that's sitting in a situation that you want to be in. So um, that would be best there. Let's see here best quote you've heard recently um gotta hear so many quotes and then people ask me for the quotes uh i I texted one to uh matt uh, mendoza why don't you matt if you don't mind post that quote so everybody can see it i know i I don't want to look it up while i'm online but that was a good one the quote that i texted you um yesterday that was a good one um here we go 
Um, when things aren't going as planned, how do you stay focused on work? Well, I don't believe in work. So I believe in activity I get paid for, an activity I don't get paid for. And so being a student in my calendar, studying what I have planned, what I don't have planned, and also my sleep, but I also have an adaptable routine by the non-negotiable values that I have. So utilizing those non-negotiable values, um, I then put, uh, here it is, pain is a sign you misunderstood yourself. <laughs> that was my quote of the week. I love that quote. See, I just couldn't remember it. Pain is a sign you misunderstood yourself. There's my quote. Just find you, my man. Love what I already see. Thanks, James. Thanks for finding me. Keep on joining us. It's Ask Me Anything Monday. So ask me anything. You bring the questions, I'll bring the answers on Mondays. Uh, we do it at 3 p.m. on Clubhouse, as long as we have connectivity. If you could change one thing about your business, what would it be? Um, if I could change one thing about my business, what would it be? I would double the amount of money I make as fast as I can. So uh, I'd have twice as, twi make twice as much money so I could share it with more people, especially my employees who uh, are just incredible. And so, uh, great questions. Here we go. How do you decide what investments to make in yourself? Uh, same way, by taking inventory of my values and uh, knowing and taking those investments of where I want to most improve. All right. There's Cynthia Kersey, the incredible Cynthia Kersey. And now we can go live with Cynthia Kersey. Right here founder of the Unstoppable Foundation. We're putting on the Unstoppable Celebration. Everybody should join us. She's going to tell you why. I think it's unstoppablecelebration.org, but I always screw up a uh, domain. So we'll get the guys to post it up there. We'll get her to join us. We're waiting for her. What is that gorgeous backdrop that is? Oh, there she is. I can't see. <laughs> it's been a day. It's been a day, huh? Oh, it's been a good two days. So, but I miss you and I love you and I'm thinking of you. How are you? I'm so good and, and I'm glad you got there safely. Yes, you can tell by my Perfect. backdrop, like I'm safely. <laughs> 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 it's so good. It's so, I've never had a plane turn around midair. That was the best. Hey, uh, something new every day, right? Exactly. Well, Cynthia, please. Give everybody, I got the unstoppablecelebration.org up there. So I got that right after two weeks yeah. of trying. So uh, I'm amazing in that respect. But give me a rundown about first the Unstoppable Foundation, you know, what we do, and, uh, and then let everybody know how they can join us to celebrate. Awesome. Well, you know, uh, you, you know, this started the foundation really as a result of me hearing. I went to a conference in Kenya, and I heard women's stories that I couldn't unhear. You know, women who had lost their children to malaria when for the price of a cup of coffee, they could have been treated and been fine. Uh, girls who didn't have power over their own bodies. They were circumcised. They were married off. Kids that, you know, they just wanted an education uh, for their family. And I, I, you know, as I was leaving that conference, they said, please don't forget us. Help us. And so like you, you ended up having a 50th birthday party. I turned my birthday party into a fundraiser. That was like my first step. And we raised the money to buy, uh, build two classrooms. And then I got really serious on what's going to move the needle for these girls, these boys, these families, and realize you can't just build a school in a developing country. You have to meet their, their, their needs, get them clean water or girls aren't in school. You've got to get them access to health care, nutritious food. So we started a program called Sponsor a Village. And we've been doing this now almost 15 years. And we've impacted over 80,000 men, women, and children with these services that truly change their lives for generations to come, right? It's like if we help this generation lift themselves out of poverty, they'll do the rest. So we have our big event that's coming up. This is a very important event. And at the same time, as you know, the world stopped. It was canceled. All events were canceled. There's Julie. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so we are having our first virtual event. It's called UnstoppableCelebration.org. We have incredible talent, Catherine McPhee and David Foster and the tenors and Wally Shaw. Um, and we're sharing this. It's about courage. 
the courage of the Kenyans to persevere, the courage of our family and our supporters to can continue to support in a, a, a lack of certainty of their own lives in the situation. And it's going to be inspiring. Tickets start at $62. If you want to be a VIP and mingle in David's suite, um, you can do that as well. But I really invite you. It's an opportunity to come together to um, make a difference, to have some fun, and know that you're really changing the lives of children and their families forever. It's April 21st at 5 o'clock Pacific. Yeah, besides with COVID going virtual with so many different things, we also help so many people by providing over a million meals uh, yeah. during COVID. Uh, so, you know, obviously things change uh, with the world that's changing. And I just wanted everyone to know how much I know that, man. I've been over there uh, a couple of times. And, uh, you know, when you don't have healthy food, uh, it can make all types of different issues arise that you and I have never even thought of until I went over there. And he, in fact, it was incredible when COVID first hit. Everybody, once again, you know, my mind goes in one thing. I didn't even think about the impact that COVID would have uh, on the schools and on the healthcare and on the food and water, et cetera. So uh, just so important to me. I know all the following and people that will watch this, please join me. Uh, this is super important to me. I'm joking. <laughs> you make me cry all the time, but it is. It's super important. So please. Uh, yeah. Uh, unstoppable uh, celebration.org April 21st, 5 p.m. Pacific. Uh, I love you, but you always make me cry because I care so much about you and what we do. And I want everyone to know that. So uh, thank you. I love you too. So appreciate your support. Looking forward to seeing you then. And have fun. Have a great time. Give Liz a big hug That's, for me. I will. That's never a problem for me. So. <laughs> Send my love to Blaine as well. Thank you, everyone. UnstoppableCelebration.org. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, everyone. She made me cry. We'll go back to answering questions. Uh, Unstoppable Foundation, uh, UnstoppableCelebration.org. If you forget any of it, just email me. I'll direct you, David at email, David at dmelzer.com. Of course, you sign up, I'll give you free books. I'll sign them, I'll send them to you, I'll pay for shipping. Not that I won't do that anyway. Just trying to get you to help help these people uh, at least survive and thrive. So David at dmeltzer.com. Thank you, everyone. April 21st, 5 p.m. Pacific, unstoppablecelebration.org. All right, let's take some more questions. Let me bring some value to your life. Special training this Friday. Thanks for asking. Uh, this Friday, our training is on ferocious Buddha training, how to be a ferocious Buddha, have a reconciliation of being a ferocious person and a Buddha and being at center and at neutral. It's a great place to be. Unlimited power. Uh, that's what we all have. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. All right. Here we go. I feel lost. These guys help me. What should I do? All right. If people feel stuck and lost. Take inventory of what you want. That's the first step. Don't look for your why. Look for your what. Take inventory. What do you want personally, experientially, giving-wise and receiving-wise? Know what you want, and you will not be lost anymore because then you can find someone who has what you want and ask them for directions. The fastest way to get what you want is to find someone with what you want and ask them directions. It's that easy. You got it? All right, everybody, go out there today. Balance the what. Find your what, personally, experientially, giving-wise, and receiving-wise. Know your what. Don't let people con you into the why. You'll find the why when you know your what. It's to help somebody with something. What are the biggest lessons you've learned from COVID? Uh, how much we have already. So, uh, you know, and as much as I don't know, I don't know. Come on, it's fine. I'm going to get off. All right. Thank you so much. It's a uh, great, remember, unstoppablecelebration.org. Join me, join Cynthia. We love you. If uh, you want to come visit me, I'm right here. It's not too bad. Anyway, I will see you later. Ask me anything Monday. Jonathan Wells, good to see you, my friend. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>